What's up guys, Yian here from A1 Decoy and today we are very excited to unveil the brand new Hick Stella 3.0. This has been long awaited, everyone's excited to see this. We've got a whole bunch of new features and specs to talk about. We're going to unbox this thing, show you exactly what's inside, we're going to talk through all of the specs, then we're going to take it outside, show you exactly what this thing is capable of. I'm excited, let's get into it. Alright, first things first. Brand new box, brand new item. Let's unbox it, let's see what's inside. So obviously we've already got the scope, this is how it comes. You've got the laser rangefinder embedded in. Nice little magnetized lens cover, lens cap. And put that to one side. We have your branded box, which we can open up. All right, and then inside we have your carry case. Really, really nice. Okay, so inside our carry case. These are nice in themselves. I like having a carry case for your scope, that's pretty handy. Okay, so we open her up. Your rifle scope comes in there. Really nice, well protected. We can take that out. And then inside here, we have all of your gadgets. So you've got your quick start guide with everything you need to know to get up and running, nice and smooth. In here, I'm not going to open this up, but we have your battery charger. So these come with two batteries, spare, and a battery charger. So you can charge that up and you're getting loads and loads of battery life. You get some scope cleaning kit, a little bit of a sticky pad and stuff like that in there. You get your USB-C cable. Yeah, and inside here you get a nice handy little sling. You can go around your neck, clip onto your rifle, whatever you would prefer. Okay, and the last thing you get in the box is a scope cover, really handy, just to stop you banging it when you're putting it away in the safe. You can even put this on when you're out walking around, stop you scratching it and banging it before you actually take it off to start stalking. Handy little thing, comes in the box. Cool, let's put all this away and let's dive into some of the technical specs. All right, diving into the tech specs. This thing has got a thermal resolution of 640 by 512. That's gonna give you a really, really clear, crisp thermal image. You'll be able to see small birds up in the trees, especially, particularly deer, which is our kind of main focus, but you're gonna be able to see everything with this. Okay, the new 3.0 comes with a detection range of up to 2,600 meters. That's unbelievable. Almost 3K away. That's way out of range of all of your stalking rifles, but fantastic for spotting. I mean, if you can spot stuff up to 2.6K away with this, it's gonna be really, really easy for you to start moving around and getting in position. All right, next one, frame rate. I'm gonna try and explain all of these stats so that you guys kind of understand what they actually mean because when you read through it, you'll read through all the, the tech specs on the website and stuff like that and you, it goes over my head quite often. So this has a frame rate of 50 hertz. That means that it essentially makes it really smooth. So the thermal imaging is gonna keep capturing images and it's gonna blend those together so you get like this really nice smooth picture so you're not gonna miss anything. If you have any of the really old thermals, you'll hear them like click and then the frame will freeze and you'll be moving and it'll it'll all stop and then it'll jump back in, it'll click again, jump back in. So with 50 hertz, you shouldn't be getting that. It should be really nice and smooth. You shouldn't be getting those kind of breaks in footage or breaks in feed. All right, it's got a 50 mil objective lens. So pretty much the same sort of standard as all of your normal scopes. The wider your objective lens, 50 mil, means the more light you can get in, the more you can see. So that's gonna give you a really, really nice picture during the daytime and the nighttime. It's just gonna allow more light to flood in. So 50 mil is ideal. All right. Magnification, this has a digital magnification from two to 16. So this is a magnification that you get on your normal screen. So this has a digital magnification of up to 16 times. So you can go right from two times all the way up to 16. So two times is perfect. When you're up close, you're kind of scanning the area. So if you want to pick up a wide frame of view, spotting targets, etc., then that's really good. Then you can zoom right into 16. So if you've got something at 200, 250 yards away, you can really dial that right in. You can have a really good look at the animal and actually see what sex, species, etc., and you'll be able to dial right in on where you're shooting. So I like that digital magnification, really handy. And it's super easy to scroll. You just twist this knob and it zooms in and out really, really smooth. Doesn't You don't get those big gaps, those big breaks. All right, this has a recorded battery life of up to 15 hours. Now that will be without using one of the features, which is a live record. So you can plug um, your app or you can connect your 
iPhone, your tablet, etc., to this, and you can watch a live feed of what you're seeing on here. If you're doing that, it's going to run the battery down a lot quicker. If you're recording, it's going to run the battery down quicker. But I think if, if you're just out using this in the field as a normal scope, then this is going to last up to about 15 hours. We will do some testing and see exactly how long we can get it to last. But like I said, you do get the spare battery in there. So as long as you've got one or two of those charged up, this will only long enough to last you a whole day stalking. You could be up all day and you not have to recharge or use extra batteries. All right, as I just said, another feature, you've got built-in video recording. You can simply press the button here, start recording. That's really cool. You also have a live stream button, so you can stream this straight from your scope to your phone and you can watch that from, or someone else can watch exactly what you're watching. So if you have someone out with you, they can see what you're looking at through the scope. That's really cool. Okay, then we then have this is weatherproof rated to IP67. That means that this thing is fully watertight and dustproof. So it's not gonna get damp creeping in, obviously corroding your parts and breaking your scope and it shouldn't get dust creeping in and corroding your parts or breaking it. So dustproof and waterproof. All right, one of the biggest things with this new Star 3 is, and we've saved it till last, we have that up, a laser rangefinder. So on pretty much all of the models with the Stutter 3, they have a laser rangefinder. They either have it mounted into the scope here or they have it mounted on top. It's up to you which you pick. Obviously the price varies. But yeah, this comes with a laser rangefinder mounted into the scope. It's really quite useful. Saves a lot of weight, saves a lot of size. This is nowhere near as heavy as some of the old thermal scopes that you would imagine. This is really quite light. Like I'm holding it, can balance it, can move it around, throw it with one hand. So this isn't this isn't heavy in any way. This is actually really quite nice to have on your rifle. You wouldn't be upset with the weight of this. And it's nice to not have that big bulky kind of laser range finder and all the additional stuff that they used to come with. Uh, so that's really, really cool. I like that Hick have done that, that, that model, that little, uh, that new little upgrade there is really cool. There are two models without a laser range finder. They are the SH35 and the SH50. So just make sure when you're looking at these, you get the right one. They, like I said, they all range in price. The last thing is the operating temperature. It goes from minus 30 all the way up to plus 50. So you don't need to worry about the operating temperature. You're not gonna be anywhere realistically cold enough to break this or hot enough to break this. And if you do, let us know, because that's super impressive. All right, moving on to what we consider cool new features. <laughs> So with this, you've got your improved thermal sensitivity. So like I said at the start, you've got that really, really crisp, clear thermal image. Now, the old thermal images back in the day used to be quite blurry. It was quite hard to zoom in and still get like a really crisp feed. With this new scope, you get this really crisp picture and we'll show you that with the footage. Um, but you can, like I said earlier, can pick up blades of grass. Like it, it, you get this really, really clear definitive image, which makes it so much easier when you're detecting game. So when you're looking at deer, you can actually start to pick up what type, sex, species, which is really important when you're stalking. So this thing is epic for that. You've got a really easy user interface. So you've got a button on here that gives you the menu. You've got your on and off button, your laser range finder, and your camera. So if you want to record or take a photo, it all does that through the screen. Really, really simple. So you can literally just press this, press this menu button, scroll through, press the menu button, and you could do that in the dark with one hand. You don't need to be able to look at it. You don't have to like go on your phone and change the settings. You can do it all through the scope. It's really easy to use. I've already mentioned it, but the built-in video recording and streaming is super handy. Like I said, if you've got someone else in a high seat with you, someone in the truck when you're out shooting, you can, they could have a phone and they can see exactly what you're looking at through this, which is really cool, especially if you're out on the kind of foxes in the night time, you didn't want to get a torch out, get a lamp out, all that sort of stuff. The person next to you would literally be watching exactly what you're looking at on this through their phone, which is really cool. Laser rangefinder, obviously an epic feature that just having that in there is all the difference. And to have it all encapsulated in such a lightweight, small kind of packed up model just shows how far these thermals have advanced over the years. Having all of this kit and equipment kind of three, four years ago would have meant an absolute monstrosity on top of your rifle. This is so neat and tidy and tucked away now. It really isn't any heavier than having a normal scope. And then lastly, your durability. Anyone who's bought a HIC product before knows that they are durable. They've had issues with battery life in the past. They've solved all of that and their technical team are really good. Like if they do have issues with products, they're very, very quick to jump on that, get a technical update done. Um, and it usually solves a lot of the issues. The battery life's really good on these now. I think everything you'll find in here isn't gonna break. And if it did break, they're very quick to replace, renew, repair. So I think if you're spending the money on something like this, you really are buying a durable product and you're gonna get well looked after. Okay, well, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to give you guys some proper footage. So I'm going to head out now. I'm going to turn this thing on. I'll get some footage. I'll wander around. We'll find some ducks. We'll see what else we can find, and we'll show you guys exactly what this is capable of doing out in the field. So let's go. 
All right, so we're out in the field now, guys. We've got the range, our little range just up here. We've got some fields up in the background. We'll have a look around. I'll take us over to the pond afterwards. We can kind of have a look what's over there. Um, but I'm going to show you some footage on here now, and we'll have a look how easy this is to use. So let's turn him on. We've got a field in the background there. We're just going to scroll around here and have a look what we can see. You can clearly see the little birds up in the trees. Those are easy to spot. We've got something flying there. Again, this, the quality of this image is really, really good. And then if we're just dragging along, there's another bird. Oh, and then we've got something in the field there. Now oh, there we go. That is, looks like a little rabbit. We'll just zoom in. Yeah, you can see his ears. See him hopping around, so that's zoomed right into 12 times. You can see we lose a little bit of that clarity at 12 times. We can just try and focus a bit. There you go, oh, there you go, perfect. And you can see him hopping around. So then we're just gonna zoom back out a bit. Just disappeared behind the trees. But we can scroll along, scroll along. See if we can find anything else in this field. Oh, there we go. Looks like another rabbit up in there. At the top of the field. We'll zoom right out. Oh, what have we got on the top of the tree here? Big buzzard. Yeah, buzzard in the top of the tree. That's pretty clear. And then just to show you the just to show you the laser range finder, let's go back up here to the top of this field where that rabbit was. Okay, so a really quick button click. Top right button. 350 yards up to the top there. Sorry, I'm shaking a bit. That's because I'm holding this up with my hands. And then that's how quick and easy it is to use with the laser range finder. We can come down here and I'll just show you in close. So I zoom right in. You see how we lose focus because we're in close. All I have to do is turn this wheel and there we go. Crystal clear image. Look at those dogs running around there. Look at those crazy dogs. <whistles> Loser, Luna, hello. There we go, Luna and Rosie. That just shows you the, the image quality, especially when you're up close like this. And then our range here is about 100 yards. So let's see if we can just focus up. There we go. And you can actually see our, our metal targets here. We've got a row buck there little metal targets you can see those really crisp and clear as well super easy there we have it that is the new stella 3.0 i probably got bloody i probably got a red ring around my eye from looking through this for so long very simple very easy to use recording button there which i'll just turn off there we go so super simple to use little recording button laser range and finding button turn it on and off and then you've got your menu button just there. Zoom, top wheel, really simple. What else could you ask for? And then change your battery. You just unscrew this, put your battery back in. You can close that up. And that is the end of our video. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Please feel free to hit us up in the comments down below with any more reviews, any more products you want us to test. Uh, like I said, this is a channel kind of based around you guys. So whatever you want to see us do, if it's more videos out in the field and actually using this, shooting deer, etc., we can do that too. Just let us know what you want to see in the comments and we will get right to it. Thanks and we'll see you in the next one.